Hello everyone, today we have new video review and we are going to check fresh release from scale aircraft conversions and this time set is made in 130 second scale and it should come handy with Kitty Hawk plastic as you can see it is designed for use with Mirage 2000 and it copies landing gear obviously so now we have a commercial sample we are going to open it and check what is hidden inside first of all packaging here is standard it means we had this clear frontal section and we can actually check parts through it but I mean it's might be useful in order to check if parts are okay not broken but you can take a look from all sides let's say and then on the opposite side you can see some safety devices the rest of the manufacturer and also the website of this brand so now I'm going to use sharp knife I'm going to do the um, cutting process off camera just not to hurt myself because it already happened several times so I think it's better to do it off the camera in the meantime, let me remind you that you can support us financially. It is quite easy to do because we have special donate button on our website. And of course, you are the one who will decide how much you will get for new 14 video equipment. So here I am removing the parts from this box. Just give me a second. Okay. So first of all, we get here two landing gear legs. As you can see, they are slightly bent maybe, or they should be like this on the original aircraft. I am not sure. But you can see that they are molded as a huge metal ports and they have some weight to them. And they are definitely uh, more sturdy than the original plastic ports. So in case you plan to add some resin on your kit, this is what will be held in the, all the additional weight. Next we have also nose winding gear, as you can see this mode is a single piece part as well. Just give a second, camera will focus on this part, so now you should be able to see it. And it looks really good. Next we go on with this separate uh, actuators, which are also molded separately, and as you can see they have a uh, slight bend, of course it will have to be fixed, but I'm not going to do it now because it's better to do it when you will be actually building the kit and fixing everything with primer in place. And here we have additional parts, they are molded on this, let's say, simple frames. So here I would recommend to use the sprue cutter in order to cut through the metal and have parts available without damaging them. And of course for the assembly you should use CA glue because otherwise you won't be able to get everything intact and, and I mean to hold everything in place. So this set should be already available, you can get it on official manufacturer's website. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for watching and bye!